recruited him to this institution. Uh, and so uh, I try to remind myself of what a blessing it was to have been a part of his life for him to have been a part of mine. Um, and, and that's, uh, I think, something important for us to remember. Um, Tyrone was a man of faith. He loved God. He loved church. Uh, he was a he was an usher uh, for years. As a matter of fact, he was a lead usher. I'm still trying to figure out some of those hand signals and what they mean. <laughs> uh, but I'm comforted by that, knowing that he loved God and um, that spiritually he was ready. But we have to remember that all of us are here as children of God, and uh, we're only here on loan. And none of us know how long that's gonna be, and I think this is a reminder to take advantage of the limited time that we have uh, to each other on loan and make the most of it. Tyrone certainly did that. Uh, I, I don't want this to be all about tears. We're gonna miss Tyrone. Uh, and we all get caught up uh, on accident every now and then and uh, have to take a moment. Um, but, you know, Tyrone uh, was fun, and, and Tyrone was family. Uh, it, he, he was loved. It, it, it's amazing. It's, it's interesting to me. We always uh, have good things to say about people who lose them, and sometimes I know some of you wonder, not all of them could have been that good, <laughs> but Tyrone was. He was. And so we have staff that, that whose, whose lives he touched and made a difference. Um, of course, colleagues and, and, and all of us are, are our morning hit the loss, but celebrate the loss. And so I just want to remind all of you how fortunate that we were to have gotten to know uh, Tyrone Thompson. And I think that it is our calling, our duty to move forward and not only finish this session, but move forward in service and how we treat each other, how we treat others. Um, I don't know a single person who ever met Tyrone and didn't walk away feeling special. Uh, I don't. I know very few who didn't walk away and have them call him call them cousin. <laughs> um, but he's such a wonderful, wonderful spirit. Uh, I, I laugh now. Um, this is this is who Tyrone was. Uh, Tyrone used to, to to get mad at me because I was sending him a text message first thing in the morning, and he wouldn't respond unless I said good morning first. <laughs> And I would say, Tyrone, God invented text messages so I don't have to say good morning. <laughs> and he said, good morning, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> um, but but uh, look, we, we, love, we love Tyrone, we always will. Um, it's difficult to imagine this place without him. But uh, we have work to do in his honor. And it's not just work, it's, it's not just what we do, but how we do it. And I think Tyrone uh, exemplified the importance of how you do it. And he did it with, with, with love, he did it with, with style. I had to up my game because <laughs> um, uh, but but he was he was particular, but he was warm and kind, loving uh, and funny. And so when we joke, and not for those of you who who haven't worked directly with him as much, uh, we joke, but but we, we we mean it. He he is a team builder. He is a bridge builder. He is a collaborator. Um, and I watched him uh, struggle when, when, when he had difficult decisions to make because he wanted nothing more than to bring people together. But look, look what he did. So thank you all for being here. We're together and we're gonna continue to be together. But this is in honor of our friend Tyrone and uh, uh, we're gonna keep honoring him in everything we do in the service. Um, that's the least we can do. Uh, so I would like to now introduce our Senate Majority Leader, Paul Camazaro. Uh, for a few remarks and uh, invite her up to uh, address everybody. And again, thank you all for being here. Thank you uh, for putting all of the stuff that we have to do in that building aside and just loving each other in honor of uh, Tyrone. So thank you so much for being here. I'll tell you, I have, um, I have struggled to find the right words in all of this, and um, I think one of the things that I did share uh, yesterday that I would like to share again, um, because I think that it's important that we recognize that it's not just, it's not just my words, it's the words that I've heard from so many people echo through our conversations about Tyrone, through our memories of him and through what's been shared um, online and in letters. 
that I've read that I am so touched by. And I think the fact that we're hearing some of these same really wonderful things about a really wonderful man um, really speak to just his character and, and why we're all, so we've all been so touched by him and, and myself included. So I'd like to share just a few of those words um, because they touched me. That smile, that enthusiasm, that encouragement, ever present, steady as a rock. You couldn't turn off his smile. It wasn't hard to see his incredible caring and commitment to service. Hear him describe how his grandmother inspired him to education. Safe to say, he's inspired others. He volunteered his time as a court-appointed special advocate for our children in foster care. Those kids needed him. One of the best liked and most dedicated people ever in public office. He was an incredible leader, fierce advocate, and kind person who fought for our community. There are no words that can express how kind, funny, thoughtful, and driven to make the world and Nevada a better place. He helped voices be heard. He stood larger than life because of his selfless service to his fellow Nevadans. Your kindness and humor and passion and knowledge and, well, everything, you will be missed. He is the nicest and most patient, patient leader you would ever have met. Three things that he taught me. Make your boss look good. Change starts where you are. And don't just show up. Step up, even when you are not ready. Those, I think, were just some of the words that I had read in the wake of this that I think touched me because I think that speaks to exactly who this person is. And I, I think we've all shared a lot of the same words about how kind and funny and thoughtful he was. Um, I remember the first time that I met Tyrone. I had gotten this crazy idea that I was going to run for Senate. Um, from some people who said, hey, we think you should run for Senate. Um, and I had encountered him walking into the Luxor for the, for the, first, the first function that I had ever been to. It was a labor function, it was a meet and greet, and um, it was one of the first times that I was ever going to be somewhere where I had talked about being a candidate for office. And um, I was walking in with my husband and I was feeling a little nervous, frankly, because I've never done this before at that point in time, and uh, Tyrone had held the door open for us. And he was like, hey man, how are you? To my husband, man, what are you doing with such a pretty lady? Oh my gosh, why are you hanging out with him? And I, was, I just immediately was, found myself laughing. Um, he introduced himself to me and um, the kindness and the warmth of his heart and his spirit immediately touched me. And um, I can tell you that it gave me the confidence to go into that room and talk to a lot of people that I didn't know about something that I wasn't really sure I was getting myself into or what it was going to entail. Um, and I think he just instantly made me feel like this is, this is going to be just fine. I'm going to be able to do this. Um, and for me, Tyrone did that actually a, a number of times. He did it when we were presenting bills last session. And, um, and I can't tell you what kind of confidence that imparts and imparted to me. Um, it's obviously been an interesting session, and, and one of the things that Tyrone said to me when I when I took this position, um, and it resonated with me. And that's why when I when I had seen this written online, I knew um, there was the right thing to share. He said, "Girl, it's ready for you to step up. It's time for you to step up. Are you ready? You're ready. Don't worry about it. You're ready." And um, and I think that that again gave me some encouragement and the strength to do a lot of really tough things that we have to do here. But I think that he speaks to the best of us. Um, Tyrone speaks to what I hope to be, um, not only as a legislator, but as a friend, as a colleague, as part of a family that is much bigger than the people that I'm related to by blood or marriage and includes a lot of people in this very group. And I hope, I hope that when I think back on my time here and as I move forward in my career, I know I was just talking with, um, with some of my chief of staff, Ben, who I'm sure you all know. Um, and we were actually walking out of the building the other day, and it had been a long night, and 
and we were leaving very late. And uh, as we were coming out of the building, and we were kind of talking about a few things, and I think he saw you know, that we were deep in thought, if you will. And as he was driving out of the parking garage, he rolled down his window and he said, oh no, you can't make those faces. You have to smile. It's a good day. And I said, oh my gosh, it really is. And like, you've just brightened my day. And I think that that's one of the things that I hope that we all take away from, from Tyrone. He really was one of the best of us, and I think the one thing that he has taught me um, is to just go forward with courage and to fight for the things that you think are right and to treat people with kindness. And, and I will tell you, I think um, it's a little interesting because I have heard from a number of people, including folks that work in this building and, and my colleagues, about how <coughs> seriously every time that he talked to somebody, he touched them. And every time that he had an encounter with someone, he made them feel loved. And I don't think that a lot of people can do that. Um, and I know that Tyrone did, and he did for me, and I know that I've heard it from a number of people, even in the smallest of ways. He took his time to do that. Um, and I hope that we can all kind of take that away from Tyrone. I am also very lucky because in this experience, I have gained, as I mentioned, a lot of family that is family to me. Um, and one of those people that I would like to invite up next is who I very affectionately call my sister, um, Assemblywoman Danielle Monroe, who hopefully can share a few thoughts. And I hope that what we all take away from this is not only the ability to grieve the loss of somebody who was truly wonderful, but also the ability to keep him and hold him in our hearts. And I said on the floor the other day, I hope that you all take a minute to notice that he is with each one of us, hopefully in a, in a physical manner, carry that with you forever, because I, I do think that he made this world a better place. And so with that, I would like to turn the microphone over to my sister, Assemblywoman Danielle Moreno, who I'm glad to have with me by my side. 